heaven. We as a nation suffer mediocrity and brilliance finds a reluctant escape to the US. We as a nation suffer mediocrity because that's what happens when you rob in broad daylight half of the population of the opportunities to freely, fairly and meaningfully contribute to the economy. Was this scripted or did he just say, say that like uh, just on top of his head? This man, like, I, wow, I love this guy. I love this guy. Fantastic. And also of the dignity that comes with it for thousands of years. Mediocrity is what you get when you let filthy religious dogmas run roughshod over reason or basic human decency. If our mediocrity is because of reservations, what explains India's poor contribution to science and technology before independence? Or be Oof, shots fired. Before the British Raj or before the Mughal Sultanate when the caste system was in full swing. Whoa. Were we in mediocrity is what you get when you let filthy religious dogmas run roughshod over reason or basic... Oh my God, look at this, this quote, I missed this quote. This is such a good anti-theist comment. Look at this, hold on, listen to this. Listen, this guy's, this is, this is... Great A stuff. When you rob in broad daylight, ha hold on, hold on. This is just too good to miss. Phrase seven: We as a nation suffer mediocrity, and brilliance finds a reluctant escape to the U.S. We as a nation suffer mediocrity because that's what happens yeah. when you rob in broad daylight half of the population of the opportunities to freely, yeah. fairly, and meaningfully contribute to the economy and also of the dignity that comes with it for thousands of years. Mediocrity is what you get when you let filthy religious dogmas run roughshod over reason or basic human decency. Oh my God, that just warms my anti-theist heart. Oof, that, 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 that hit a spot. God, oof, that was so good. That was so good. That was like, I just had a rational orgasm listening to that. One, one more time, give it to me one more time. I was like, oh my God, look at this. Meaningfully contribute to the economy. One more time. And also of the dignity that comes with it no. for thousands of years. This one. Now it starts here. It starts. This should, this should be like a meme or something. Mediocrity is what you get when you let filthy religious dogmas run roughshod over reason or basic human decency. Oh, that was, oof, that was so good. God, that was, that was too good. That was so good. Like, oh, that should be like framed. <laughs> but somewhere this guy is because of reservations what explains india's poor contribution to science and technology before independence or before the british wait i didn't i don't understand this point can you explain it one more time slowly contribution to science and technology but if our mediocrity is because of reservations what explains india's poor contribution to science and technology before independence or Poor contribution to science and technology before the independence? Wouldn't that be because colonialism and stuff like that? Mediocrity is because of reservations. What explains India's poor contribution to science and technology before independence? Wouldn't the easy answer be colonialism? Or before the British? Because of the British and because of the Muslims? Oh yeah, not because of the before the British? Wouldn't that be because of Islam? Charge. Or before the Mughal Sultanate when the caste system was in full swing? Hmm, well, because they were being oppressed or colonized? Isn't that the answer people give? Were we inventing calculus? Were we thinking about magnets or electricity? No. We well, yeah, because, okay, so you're saying the caste system was in full sp swing back then, so why didn't we do science stuff? Well, somebody could say because, because we were invaded, I guess. No, is that not the answer? We were busy burning widows on the pyres of their deceased overage husbands. We were busy doing nothing apart from fighting amongst ourselves like cats and dogs while the lower castes did all our work for us without fair compensation and without dignity. It is competition on a level playing field that fosters excellence. A level playing field is precisely what the caste system is not and a level playing field is precisely what reservations aim to achieve. Yeah, and I agree that the best way to create a living playing field is to create equal opportunity, but not equal outcome, okay? 
What you have, what the, what the government is supposed to do is to create equal opportunity by lifting people that are falling behind up. And the best way you could do that is with education and giving access to education more to the people that are, have been left behind, okay? So that's how you create equal opportunity. If you try to apply the same methodology when it comes to job applicate to the to the labor market, I think now you're switching from creating equal opportunity to closer to actually creating again not completely. I get I understand how it could still be seen as giving equal opportunity, but it's getting closer to providing equal outcome rather than equal opportunity. And that's a, that's like I think going too far, right? So if you really want excellence, you should be rallying behind reservations, not ranting against it. Yeah, I, again, I do not know if reservations have been done properly in India, but I do not disagree with the principle. I think if done right, it will do wonders. Okay, sorry. He he is listening. He is just making sure you and he are in the same page of understanding. Okay, okay. Then I am. I agree with you. I'm on the same page with you. Thank you, Soraya, for clarifying that. I love the live chat, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you. And correct me every time I misunderstand something. You guys are great. I love you guys. As far no, I only love you if you're subscribed. As far as brilliance finding a reluctant escape to the U.S., I'm sorry, that's just plain ridiculous. Mm. Do you think people who leave India for the U.S. do so reluctantly? Have you seen someone who just got an offer from a U.S. firm or a student who just got accepted by a foreign university? Reluctance is the last fucking thing on their minds. Huh. Good point. I say is saying yes, but you have to invest and favor discriminated people first to get them to the level where they are, can exploit equal opportunity, equ uh, equity first and equality. Um, equality of opportunity. Not Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm arguing for. Equal, equal opportunity, not equal outcome. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we agree. You think if we shut down the whole system of reservations, that'll put a cap on people escaping the country. They escape because India, my India, I don't know about your India or Mr. Sadhguru's India, but my India is a backward country. In Oof, shots fired. India is a backward country, most of all, because of the caste system. It is the single biggest reason we are where we are. It is beyond a shred of doubt, India's biggest enemy ever. Wow, that's a major claim. Is it the biggest enemy? I would say the biggest enemy of India is Hindutva. I'm not sure, guys. I can't tell. Maybe he's right. And India, meaning we, the people, all of us, Okay, so yeah, yeah, I am saying, I mean, rich and powerful Dalits also need reservation to stay in power because others will demolish them. I, I, there's a cause and benefit to all of this. I just, what I was arguing is not that um, doing reservation based on, first of all, you shouldn't have reservation to stay in power. The reservation, I think, should be based on root causes, it should be based on education, I think, okay? But I understand that you can come up with examples for why, if you do it based on caste, it would be better. But I'm arguing that if you if you do if you do a cost benefit analysis, both, whether you do it by wealth or whether you do it by cash, I'm pretty sure you could find pros and cons for either one. Okay, I'm pretty sure if you do it by wealth instead of cash, you're gonna have some missed opportunities. That if you do if you did it by cash, it would have been in those situations it would have been better, right? What I'm arguing that if you do it by wealth. On average, the pros are going to be more than the cons. Not that there is no cons for doing it by wealth and that there is no pros for doing it by some caste system. I just, my hypothesis is that you're going to cover more of your bases if you do it by wealth instead of by caste. That's, a, that's my argument. So if you say like, oh, no, this is one reason why you should do it based on caste, that doesn't negate what I'm saying because I didn't say the pros are all on one side and the cons are, cons are all on the other side. I'm just saying the net of pros and cons is more based on the uh, is based on wealth. Needs cost. Hold on, let's go. Yeah, I know you guys are saying Hindutva is against caste discrimination. I heard that many many times. That's why I separated Hindutva from caste discrimination. Okay. 
I said Hindutva is um, more dangerous to India than caste discrimination because I, I talked about them separately from caste discrimination. So you are, I don't, your point doesn't negate what I just said, right? So there are two different evils. Which one is the greater evil? Yeah, people say, yeah. So I know they say the biggest problem is Muslims. Yeah, which is, I know, I know. It is beyond a shred of doubt, India's biggest enemy ever. Mm. And India, meaning we, the people, all of us, needs caste-based reservations like a tumor needs fucking... Wait, he said... Look at what he said. Oh no, caste. I thought he said class. We, the people, all of us, needs caste-based reservations like a tumor needs fucking surgery. 